I told you that two different flight crews on two separate brand new state-of-the-art jumbo jets made the same exact mistake that caused engine failure on both aircraft so severe that the engines could not be relit and both had to perform emergency landings as a result. Oh, and what if I also told you those brand new jumbo jets were not Boeings? You hear that? Those are champagne corks popping all over Boeing. Let's talk about it next on Maximus. Airbus has developed a removable cover for the A350 integrated control panels designed to protect vital systems from accidental liquid spills in the cockpit. Kind of reminds me of the plastic couch covers my Sicilian grandmother had for when company came over. Airbus was forced to fabricate the fix after two separate incidents which caused uncommanded engine shutdown leaving engines in each case inoperable and unable to be restarted. The console cover, which protects engine master levers, thumb wheels, and rotary knobs, needs to be removed during critical phases of flight, including takeoff, approach, and landing. But outside of these, such as during the cruise, the cover must be secured according to a directive from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. In early February, the EASA banned all A350 airliner pilots from drinking liquids on the flight deck to reduce the risk of spills on sensitive cockpit electronics. The ban was a sign that the EASA was finally putting its foot down after previous requests to Airbus pilots to keep their coffee and other liquids away from the cockpit control panels. Two incidents have occurred where liquids spilled and led to engines shutting down mid-flight. One incident involved the Delta Airlines flight from Detroit to Seoul on January 21, 2020, and an earlier Asiana flight from Seoul to Singapore on November 9, 2019. On both flights, a drink was spilled by the flight crew in the area of the middle control column. In both cases, the result was an engine shutdown and diversion following failed attempts to restart the failed engines. The diversion in the case of the Delta flight came quickly, just 15 minutes after the initial spill. And for the Asiana flight, the turnaround happened about one hour into the flight. The engine shutdowns occurred, according to the EASA, due to abnormal operation of the components in the area of the spill. In America, we just call that fried. The electronic engine control ordered the high-pressure shutoff valve to close after inconsistent data was received causing the shutdown of the engine. Additionally, besides the other two A350 failures, there was another incident that occurred on a flight over the Atlantic last year where an A330 captain spilled coffee and melted the aircraft's radios. The master engine switches in the A350 cockpit are connected by a computer to each engine's high-pressure fuel shutoff valve. Pouring liquid over the switches will short them out, sending numerous engine on and off commands in rapid succession. Well, I don't think it takes an aeronautical engineer to figure that out. According to the EASA, this could lead to a dual engine in-flight shutdown, possibly resulting in a much more horrific conclusion. The new EASA safety measure made the A350's cockpit a liquid prohibited zone for a while, but now that the Airbus announcement of the new electronic spill protector or as I like to call it, the cockpit cozy, pilots will be able to resume drinking in the cockpit once again. I can just see the boys back at Airbus sitting with their nanas and meemaws by their knee at the sewing machine, making a cockpit teacup doily. This hand-operated machine was the last word in modern design, and if you were young and fit, you might reach a speed of 40 stitches a minute, foolish, headstrong girl. I wonder how many of you have already heard about this story. It was kind of a surprise to me. If this is your first time hearing about it, let me know down below. Well, like I said at the top, you know the gang over at Boeing are loving this. As well they should. They've had a rough go of it the past two years or so, so good on them. You know, the rest of the world always loves to bash us Americans because we are so obsessive about our cars with our cup holders everywhere. Yeah, but look who's laughing now. A couple of well-placed cup holders may have avoided this whole situation for Airbus. But seriously, this situation could have been so much worse. Even much worse than the MAX tragedies, considering the A350s can carry three times as many passengers as the MAX can. So, thankfully, this all worked out for Airbus. But it could have easily gone the other way, and Airbus could be looking at a very similar situation as Boeing is right now. But as they say, all's well that ends well, right? And unfortunately, we've reached the end of this video. But as always, leave some comments down below, let me know what you think. If you haven't already, subscribe and ring the bell like and share and don't forget leave the rubber on the runway and your
troubles on the ground. And I will see you in the air next time. Yeah, this is Maximus.